recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, one quick important uh, interview question and very, very important for project point of view also, if you are using synchronization concept in your, in your framework or in your code. And it's a very famous interview question, like in, in fact, everywhere people will ask if they are taking Java interview, 100% they will ask what is the difference between synchronized error list and non-synchronized error list. So can we synchronize the error list? Yes, we can do that. By default, error list is not synchronized, right? Error list, as I told you, is non-synchronized collection. If you remember this particular chart, error list is not thread safe, right? It's not synchronized. But there are two ways we can create our uh, synchronized error list provided by JDK. The first way is by using the collections dot synchronized list method we can use it which returns one synchronized list so that also we can do that but very famous is <clears throat> copy on write error list class is available this is a thread save variant of error list so people will ask this question at a time of interview what is a thread save variant of error list so answer will be copy on write error list so please uh, remember this particular uh, class name and this is the method name you have to remember okay so let's see quickly i'm going to create one class over here and <clears throat> let's see my class name is uh, synchronized error list and then select the main method and click on finish so first let's talk about the first method that is uh, collections dot synchronized list method we are going to do that so I'm going to create a simple list over here and how to create a simple list. I'll be using collections, a dot, and there is a method you will be getting. Can you see that synchronize list method you can create and you can pass one new array list object over here. You can create what kind of object. Let's say I want a string type of values I want to store. Okay, and this array list you have to import You simple import that. And this synchronized list, <clears throat> what exactly is returning? It's returning, you can see that it's returning list of string over here. So now the new list that you are getting, this particular string list, you are getting it, that is the synchronized version. So let's see, this is my names list, whatever the name that you want to create, name list is equal to this. And then you have to import this particular list from java.util package from here like that now i'm trying to add some values over here list dot add the rest of the method will remain same i'm adding let's see a java and then i'm adding name list dot add i'm adding let's see python and then i'm adding one more value dot add i'm adding let's see uh, ruby so value got added over here perfect remember one thing whenever I need to do some operation. Let's say I want to do some add operation. Then I want to remove from this particular array list. Okay, from the synchronized array list. So we don't need. Remember this line now. We don't need explicitly synchronization. Well, now what do you mean by this? Explicit synchronization. We don't need that. So when we add it automatically, the Java and Python. So for adding operation and for removing operation we don't need synchronization operation but whenever we want to fetch the value right to fetch the value from this list we have to use explicit synchronization we have to use that i'll tell you what do you mean by explicit synchronization right so to fetch the value it means we want to traverse the value or fetch the value i would say okay to traverse the value <clears throat> how to traverse we have to use a for loop or we can use a while loop but you have to use synchronized keyword you have to do that what is your list name this is my list name and then what you have to do then i'll be let's see i'm traversing it with the help of iterator so i'll apply one iterator over here dot iterator which will return what it will return one iterator of a string so i'll be using iterator of a string it is equal to this right and then simple save this import this particular java.util package and then i simple write 
uh, simple create a one while loop. I simple write if id dot has next, then do what? Then system dot out print ln print id dot next over here. Simple. So always remember when you add the value or remove the value, we don't need this explicit synchronization over here. But whenever we want to traverse or we want to fetch the value, right, all the values from this particular array list, that time we have to use synchronized block over here like that. This is called explicit synchronization. Now, if you run it, let's run with Java application and then you are getting Java, Ruby, Python. So now this array list is the synchronized array list. We can use it. Okay, this name list is a synchronized array list. So which method we have used? We have used collections dot synchronized list. The first way we have used it. So this is the first way of doing it. Second thing is that guys we can use as I told you that we can use copy on write array list. This is a thread safe variant of array list. This is just an array list, but this is thread safe array list. So how to do that? So I'll be using this guy that is a copy on see this name is copy on right array list. The name is little weird. They could have given a better name, but this is a class. It's a class. Okay. In JDK in Java, it's already a class. Right. So whatever the operation you want to perform, you want to add the value, you want to set the value, you want to fetch the value by default, it will be synchronized. All the operations will be synchronized over here how to create that you just need to write uh, copy on write see copy on write array list can you see that you have to use and you can see that it's available from java.util.concurrent package so simple copy on write array list you have to do that what kind of generics you want i want to store the string values and i simply say that okay this is my employee a list is equal to new copy on write array list and what kind of generics i want string type of generics both the sides and now this employee list the moment i add some value let's say i am going to add some employee name tom then i'm adding employee name something else let's see steve and then i'm adding one more guy let's see dot add let's see my name naveen done now here we don't need any explicit synchronization is needed at all. So I would write we don't need any explicit synchronization for any operation. For any operation either you are adding you are uh, uh, removing or you are traversing. Okay. We don't need that. So remember this thing because by default nature of this particular array list is okay thread safe so i would say this is already a thread safe synchronized already what do you mean by synchronized and thread safe i have already explained in my second video please go and check it over there thread safe it means at a time only one single thread is working on this particular object like that okay now how to iterate just simple typical way of iterating so again, I'll be using employee list simple dot iterator and then this iterator will return iterator of a string. Why iterator of a string? Because we have written a string over here. Tomorrow, if you have written integer, it would have written integer over here. So I simple write iterator of a string over here and then it is equal to this it we have already. Okay, let's take it over here and then I'm using simple while loop. So I'll simple copy this guy. And then paste it over here right so let's see it is working or not so if you see yes tom steve naveen is absolutely working it so very simple chapter but very very important for interview point of view that what is the name of the thread safe array list so please tell this class name copy on write array list and which method is responsible to generate one synchronized array list so remember this method name collections dot synchronized array list it clearly returns returns a synchronized thread safe list backed by the specified list over here simple okay guys so please remember these two methods that i have explained one thing i just quickly tell you guys that please don't learn just for the sake of learning array list or collections 
you have to know what, why we are learning this. What are different concepts are there? Most of the people that what exactly they are doing, just creating one array list, adding the value, writing a for loop, and then done. No, you have to understand what is virtual capacity, what is synchronization, what is thread safety, how to fetch the value, what are different methods are available, how can we use them practically, and all those things. You have to learn those things, right? So please, that's why my target is to just give you the best concept over here so that you can learn practically you can learn for interview point of view also but these are very very famous common interview questions you go anywhere people will ask you synchronization is a very common topic for java with respect to collections so please prepare accordingly okay thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video if you really like this video please like comment and share and then uh, subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues thank you